Hey everyone, Sabu here and in this video I'm going to show you how to change the skin of your game character and apply it on every animation in real time. Let's jump into it. As an example for this, we're going to use the main character of Spartup, the game I released a couple of days ago and is available for free on Play Store. Feel free to click on the link in the description and play the game. Now as you can see, the sprite animation consists of 10 different sprites all together in one single sprite sheet. You will notice that when dragging the whole sprite sheet into the scene, a new animation will be created. You can see and adjust the speed of the animation inside of the animation window. Now since our goal is to change the skin of our game character but keeping the same animation, we are going to create a new animation for the same game object and name it run blue since the new skin will be a blue color. The only thing you need to do now is to recreate the previous animation using a new sprite sheet with another skin. Keep in mind that the speed of the animation should always be the same. In addition, I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the golden skin and as you can see, you can drag all sprites at the same time into the animation window. Now with that done, the next step is to create the animation override controller whose job is to actually overwrite an existing animation with another one. For the blue skin we name it blue and set the controller we are going to override, which is the first controller created by our game character. You now see that all animations of our character are listed below and we simply drag the run blue animation into the default running animation of our character to override it. The same steps are followed to create the golden running animation of the character. Finally, we are ready for a little bit of coding. Create a new c -sharp script and name it Change Skin. We are going to need two public animator override controller variables, one for each skin, the blue and the golden one. Next, we are going to create a public function which we are going to call from inside the game. Here, we are going to get the animator component and change the runtime animator controller to our blue anim variable as a runtime animator controller type. We copy and paste the same thing for the golden skin using the gold anim variable. And that's it. This is the only code we are going to need in order to change the skin of our game character. Back in Unity, let's quickly create two buttons. These buttons will call the public functions we just created inside of our script. Now let's click on play and test the results. As soon as the game opens, you will notice that our Spartan is running with his default running animation and the default skin. Now let's click on the blue button while our character is running. And it works, same thing for the golden skin. The great thing about changing skins like that is that you can do it while playing, which means that with a simple button click your character continues his animation with another skin. Hope you learned something new today and enjoyed the video. If so, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. And with that said, see you next time. Ciao!